today's pick a card reading what you need to hear about your path and purpose and we're going to be selecting our cards by sound Hey everyone, welcome back to another pick a card reading for the heart and soul. I am Shirley Harnish. Hi. And I am the author of the Path of Soul, Divine Guidance, and Return of Spirit Oracle Card Decks. Okay, so if you haven't seen this week's video on heart coherence and empaths and highly sensitives, and all of you who are on a spiritual path, this video really pertains to you. And I explain why you are built the way you are built and how to maneuver it so that you are empowered in yourself. It's a very powerful video. So I really suggest you do check that out. The link will be there and down below by the timestamp too. So our card choices today, we're choosing by sound. I love this. And I, I, you guys can let me know down in the comments below if you like um, choosing your cards by sound. So we're doing a one-tiered reading today, and when we choose, I'm going to suggest maybe even closing your eyes, and instead of just saying, oh, you know, I always pick group number three or whatever, to just close your eyes and listen to the sound and, and see how it feels inside of you when you hear it, and you'll know the one it will light up to you, like that's the sound for me, okay? So for choice number one, which is this deck here, or card pile, we have the tinctures. Okay, so for choice number two, we have our ohm chimes. They're really pretty. They're like little fairy tinkery bells. Okay, so for this, we have our ohm bell. He has an ohm symbol in there. So, okay, that's choice number three. And for choice number four, we have our Ganesh. Okay. Okay, so pause the video if you need, even, you know, play back the card sounds or the chime sounds again so you can make your selection. And I'm going to get us started in the reading. See you in a sec. Hi, group one. How are you? Okay. All right. So, what does group one? need to hear about their path and purpose. What does group one need to hear about path and purpose? Okay. So when I'm saying path and purpose, it could be about, you know, life purpose, um, but it can also be life path as in where you're heading in your life, the direction that you're going. So it's going to encompass the whole thing there, just so you know. So this one is calling me first, and I need to take that one right on top. Okay, so what do we have here? We are this way. Nice. Okay, first card out is Elemental. So that Elemental card, um, you know, she is, she does talk about connecting to nature, um, being very, like, I always get that, that earthy, f fairy, childlike kind of energy with this. And it's playful and it's light. But the other thing with that elemental card, besides like literally talking about the elements, right? Um, and nature is that we have all these golds and greens. And so green is the heart chakra. Gold is like, you know, spiritual energy, and it can even be representing the um, solar plex chakra. So 
with this card, I feel like they're kind of calling in these two areas within you. Like it's really about coming into your heart and coming into your own power in some way and coming into your own spiritual power. Um, I need to look at the rest of the cards to understand what context that elemental card is talking about. Because I have a feeling for some of you, you know, you guys are the, the healers of this group, of the four groups because that that nature card it has a healing vibe to it it just does okay next card out is the gentleness card okay so you know i was getting the healing vibes on the elemental card and then the gentleness card comes out and with this there's very few fractals that i have in my decks that come out in these light colors and it's they're very soft and like feminine and pinks and whites and that gentleness card is talking about how you're treating yourself and that a lot of the time when that comes out it's like spirit is calling you out for not being as kind or loving to yourself as you need to be. You're being hard on yourself in some way, in some form. And I'm going to say that this is in the area of your path and purpose. So, um, and there's some healing that needs to happen here for you in that regard. So let's just see what else we have here. Ooh, okay. We have the third eye card, powerhouse card. That's for sure. And we have, okay, and we have the Rebirth card. So, like I said, there's this healing going on and this need to be kinder to yourself, taking this more gentle approach to yourself instead of just like crapping on yourself in here all the time, right? That needs to stop. But we have the Rebirth card, so that tells me that you guys have been in a very like internal process kind of thing but that rebirth card is almost like doing this retreat <laughs> from the world because it is like this fetus inside this womb and it's almost like needing to offer yourself that kind of protection and i feel like this is talking about life stuff more than like path and purpose stuff in this part of the cards anyway and there is something about because it's that fetus and the, these other cards, I feel like they're talking about you self-parenting, like, you know, taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself like that inner child aspect. And if you don't resonate with that, it's about, you know, all the things that you may not have learned in childhood about, you know, receiving the love and care and the needs that you had as a child and learning to fill those for yourself for you right and that brings you into this place of empowerment but this is also talking about some sort of rebirth here that is bringing you more into your path and purpose and with that third eye card being here they're either talking about intuition or like really opening up in the crown kind of area now so let me just see what these last two cards are okay so the first card here is the assistance card okay and the next card out is the feline card and you know you can see this cat face in here and with this like we have we have green blues oranges yellows we have and it, it turns into indigo purple up here so we have nearly every color of the chakra going on in here and so this is a whole embodiment so i feel like they're talking either you are going through it now or have just been through this like big eternal process a, a true like healing and i want to say with this one reconnecting there's that element of reconnecting and learning how to self-love, self-provide, self-care, taking care of yourself. But with that rebirth card or renewal card, it is about coming, coming out into the world again. And so I feel like they're talking about you coming out into the world in a way that's stronger, 
I feel much more grounded again because of that elemental card. But there is this, this essence of like, with this assistance card, this essence of healing that I keep feeling in here isn't just about your own personal healing. And I feel like there's, this assistance card is talking about the universe assisting you in getting to where you need to be in your path. And there's a lot about trusting that help, that it's here, even if it's not in the way you expect to see it. But then the other part of that assistance card, it's like a reminder or a calling card from the universe and they're lay laying the cards on the table that you are here to be of assistance to other people in some way. And I feel like it's in the realm of like, it's on a, in a spiritual aspect in some way because we have this third eye card. And I feel like it's almost like I get the feeling of the eye opening. I keep seeing that over and over in here. And I feel like they're talking about either you really waking up to your own intuition or really honoring your intuition about where you need to go. Um, uh, and it's going to be different because this is a group reading. It's going to be different for each of you. But the, the big thing with this is that we have the feline card and the feline card is talking about a big leap forward. And this is like the I'm coming out kind of card. Okay. So this is talking about things changing, things making a big leap or movement forward. And with this card, it talks about success. Like right in the booklet, it's talking about that this, this next juncture that you're coming up to in your life is going to bring you into a place where you feel like you're making headway, you're making progress. And I feel like this is especially in path and purpose that they're pointing to here. So I, what I, the biggest part of this is keep nurturing yourself, keep honoring your intuition. It's the quieter voice. Remember, not the loud one that talks at you. It's like getting that one out of the way because you are being guided down your path so that you can be of assistance to other people. And I really feel like it's in the realm of healing, intuition, the, um, that area because you've got both those cards coming out. Now, this is a general reading and I am available for personal readings, which are much more specific to you. So I am available. My information is down below and thank you so much. Please do hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Hi, group two. Okay, so what does group two need to hear about path and purpose? What does group two need to hear about path and purpose? All right. Oh, I see the first, I see them right away. Like, they're fluorescent. Okay, so <laughs> this is a nice card to start the reading with. Holy smokes. So we have the advancement card, which that's interesting. Okay. So, you know, in this card, I do want to point this out. It's very regal. It has a regal kind of energy to it. And in here, um, they look almost like, um, eagle heads to me. And so, you know, the eagle is the king of the sky and the, it, you know, eagle, there's lots to be said about eagle energy, but, um, you know, it's about having a, a different point of view or getting it, getting it, like, I want to say a, getting a different point of view, but the advancements card is talking about, um, it is talking about advancing, like moving forward, you know, like making progress, that sort of thing. But there's another element with this card that's talking about decisions that need to get made. And so I have to say that for those of you guys in group two, that there's some choices and decisions. And I, in the booklet, I put um, around job, career, which I mean, I, I feel like that so fits with what we're reading about today. So, you know, with that being the first card, I feel like the power is in your hands more so than 
it's up to fate in the universe and they need to guide me and stuff and I feel like you guys are being asked to kind of step it more into your power here with that card coming out and needing to make some hard choices or maybe not, they aren't hard um ooh. okay the next card out we have the lion lion guide and here's his two little eyes are closed his little button nose and his big lion chin that's his mouth okay and he is a master number 33 now that's interesting because we have eagles and now we have the lion so you guys have the the king of the sky and the king of the land now with the lion king, lion king card <laughs> okay lion guide card um he is he is about stepping into your power and stepping into your truth but you know one of the things i wrote in the booklet was like it's time to let the world hear you roar and this is about claiming your throne and it's about realizing that this world this reality that isn't really what it seems that you are one with everything everything you are experiencing out here in the world is merely a reflection of what's being created from what you contain within yourself your beliefs your ideas even just simple perceptions and it's time to like go okay i'm not listening to this anymore i am this is my world and i am stepping out here and i'm gonna claim it and like the word that keeps coming to me as i'm talking to you guys is that this is about overcoming some fears there's some sort of fears that you guys need to like just go f it i'm stepping up right and i feel like that is relating to these decisions that you need to make because i almost feel like with this that path and purpose like purpose wise it's sitting right here and it's time for you to make the choices so let's see what these two have to say here spirals we've got lots of energy moving because this is nurturing universe by the way and this one hasn't come out in quite a while um, we've got a double spiral spinning out and um, self-similar, right? That's fractals are repeating patterns and we have thousands of spirals in here. And that nurturing universe card is very much about receiving that nurturing energy. It could be talking about, you know, you nurturing yourself and kind of coddling and loving yourself through this process of really stepping into your power and stepping out here and just damn well owning it that kind of energy but i feel like there's there's some element of that that comes through with this path and purpose you know where you're intended to walk in your purpose um brings that flavor of energy out here in the world in some way okay and what else do we mm, well, okay we have oh isn't that that's right okay so this is master number 33 and we have master number 44 you guys have two master numbers in your reading today so with the birth of angels card you know this is like the the head angel and all these little angels are rising to the surface and I feel like, you know, oftentimes this card is talking about feeling really alone in what you're doing or feeling alone here in the world, almost like, you know, the damn universe abandoned me here and they left me to figure this out on my own. And a part of that message is that you are not here alone in this. But the other energy that really is strong with this is that, you know, it's almost like that earth angel kind of energy is that, you know, it's almost like giving birth to that, you know, spiritual side or nurturing side, that part of you that's here to aid and help others in some way and really stepping into the 
power of that for yourselves. So we still have two more cards, which are going to help. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So we have the surfacing card and I feel like what they're talking about in this part of you really stepping into yourself and owning your kingdom is that the surfacing card is talking about with all these bubbles rising to the surface that there's more for you to see there's still there's elements here that you haven't fully seen within yourself and i feel like there's more to your your gifts your path your purpose your direction that is coming so i feel like this isn't about just rushing out there it's about nurturing yourself through this process of coming into your own empowerment okay and the next card now remember this is about path not just purpose right and we have the commitment card coming out and i feel like that so plays with this the energy of feeling alone and I feel like that card is talking about either somebody coming in here who, who through meeting them, you feel like you've got that human real life kind of support here. But the other part with this card is like you really committing to claiming what you're here to do. And, you know, I know that you you aren't all completely clear yet but it's going to become clear right what you couldn't see today and yesterday it's going to rise to the surface you're going to have that clarity but you need to be all in you can't just be half i'm going to say it half assed about it you know you need to just go okay i'm really in with this universe and i am going to step out here in all my beautiful imperfection and claim this world around me and step into my power okay now this is a group reading so um, my personal readings are much more specific to you so if you would like to book a reading all my info is down below please do hit the like and uh, subscribe share i look forward to seeing you guys the next week i'm sending you all my love take care hi group three how are you okay so what does group three need to hear about their path and purpose what does group three need to hear about their path and purpose okay oh i see the first one. Oh, there it is bam they came out fast that's interesting i'm excited to see what they are so we'll save them for last okay so what do we have here okay first card up we have awakening this is a powerful card because Okay, there's this beautiful third eye in here, and then we have the heart here, and another heart here, and it's almost like this story of, you know, the intuition is fostered through the heart, and it is this kind of awakening, spiritually, waking intuitively, awakening to yourself, to your life, and this is in a very, like, heart-centered way because you have the double hearts here and so i feel like this is in a way that is much more stable i feel and solid than perhaps how it's been for you in the rec recently or in the recent past um i'll say more about it once i get the rest of these cards out okay so the next card out is the reflections card and this is like the inner wall of like the subconscious and then we have all this water reflecting the wall and reflecting this light and it's pouring down like a waterfall and so this is like this one is talking about really working a lot of the process is working out the stuff in here you know the stuff that we've kind of crammed away throughout our lifetime and this is a process of kind of like 
it's kind of like retreat, although you may not be actually retreating from the world, or you may be, but oftentimes it's not a, a full-on retreat, but it's like kind of pulling back and, and a reassessment of you, of what is living inside of you, okay? And through that, there's like a lot of wisdom is gained through this process. And so I feel like, you know, the awakening card, like you're awakening to something more than your, to yourself than the story of you that you've been playing out or living out or understanding of yourself up to this point. So like this is a big um, growth energy kind of feeling. But don't get me wrong. I mean, a lot of the times with that reflections card, there can be depression. So just know that if you are feeling like you keep getting tugged under, this is why, because you're being asked to do this real internal process, but it's not a forever thing. You're not going to be stuck in that energy. It's actually helping you to bring you to this higher understanding and higher wisdom. <laughs> okay. This, yeah. Okay. So the next card out is the consciousness card and it's like a rainbow infused brain. I always see this as a brain and you know that consciousness card is literally almost what I was saying about the reflections card because this is a working of your consciousness, a reworking of your consciousness and understanding your beliefs and all of those things. But the it okay just wait universal connection okay so with this card a lot of this card is about working on these subconscious things but i feel like there's these limiting beliefs that that they're really talking about here um that that need to get addressed there's some sort of limiting beliefs that need to get addressed with you guys um i i feel like there's another message in this card that i haven't extracted it yet so we're gonna wait and see so the next card the universal connection card you see all these reds and oranges fading into this gold with the blue in the center this card is talking about um well while it is like you know like being spirits middleman in a way and really connecting higher realms and lower realms a lot of this card actually has to do with writing that there's something important that needs to get put into writing here so whether like it's going to be different because this is a group reading whether they're talking about that process of journaling through this so that you know all your thoughts aren't in here where they can't be properly assessed getting them out in some sort of journaling sort of way but for many of you i really feel like the message in this is about writing and it could be writing as in writing something formal like a book but it could also be like writing you know you're gonna start a i'm just giving examples uh social media um new social media account, more on your path and purpose, and like getting a pen in your hand and beginning to write out the, the stuff that you're going to present. Um, there's something about the, this communication that needs to happen in around your path and purpose and in the process of this inner journey. And for some of you, this inner journey or is also a part of your path and purpose like for, so for some of you it'll be in that realm of helping others through their own processes that bring them to a higher awareness or understanding of what's going on with them not for all of you but for some of you that will be a part of this story okay but the writing writing in some way it's very powerful and it's a very like in pivotal part of your reading so the next card we have out, okay. <laughs> so the next card we have out is Fairy Magic. And with that card coming out, that is talking about you needing to lighten up a little bit, okay? Because sometimes we can get so focused and, you know, like with the depression that can sometimes come with that Reflections card, we can get so focused on like path and purpose and what I'm doing and and like we kind of end up 
not intentionally, but shrinking down our world. And it can't, you can't be all work, no play. And this is talking about giving yourself that play time. Like, you know, at night, turn off the lights, close the curtains, and just like dance naked in a dark room by yourself and just let loose, right? It's like playfulness. You need to restore that. And a lot of the times, the fairy magic card is like, there's something about age that happens in this card. Like either you're feeling too old or, you know, you have that I'm too tired kind of energy going on. And they're talking about that play restores you back into, you know, your natural vigor. Okay. So there, there is, we need the balance in here is what they're talking to you about. And I love that this is here. We have the birthing card. And with that card, that is saying that there's something that you are pregnant with. Okay. Now, for some of you, it might actually be pointing to being pregnant. But most of the time, um, it's actually talking about being pregnant with an idea or a thing as far as your path and purpose. And that the big message with this is that you need to allow the full gestation that it isn't about just pushing it out. It's not about pretending you're not pregnant with something like, you know, you have these ideas and you're hesitant to move forward with them because of fear that, that you need to allow the time for this to fully gestate. Don't rush any of this process that you're going through. Okay. Because this baby, this project idea business thing that is living inside of you it needs to come out and you want a great big fat juicy healthy baby right you don't want to rush it out preterm and your baby's barely surviving so you know allow this process to unfold make sure you're balancing your energy play time giving to yourself that that sort of thing there's something coming up here and I would have to say like the feeling because it's a group reading it's a little bit mixed but I, I feel like within months here like within three to five months of something that you are giving birth to out in this world as far as your path and purpose now this is a group reading which is a general reading if you would like a personal reading which is so much more specific to you all my contact info is down below um, I want to thank you for being here. Please do hit the like, share, subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Hi, group four. It's really hard to make these bells ring. <laughs> okay. okay, so let's get out our extra two cards here. What does... What does group four need to hear about their path and purpose? What does group four need to hear about their path and purpose? Okay. So, oh, I see that right off the bat. Like I don't even need to finish. Okay. So, what does, what do we have here? I've got the cards the wrong way. 15 years of doing this and you would think that, okay. So we have the grid and with the grid card, I have to point out, we have a master number showing up here, you guys. And in this card, it's really hard. I wish I could hold it like right up to the camera because this card is filled with like sacred geometry. It is a powerhouse of a card. And I feel like the most important part of this message here is that we have a card number 22, which is a builder number. And so it's like, there's something that you guys are here to build, to put out, to create in your life in some way. And, you know, with it being the grid, I feel like they're talking about, um, the grid is what connects these energy ley lines all around the earth. So I feel like this is a high energy endeavor, but I feel like this connects me around the world. You know, it gives me the feeling like when I'm holding this, talking to you, it makes me feel like, um, 
communication cables that they lay under the oceans to connect the world, you know, the old telephones, landlines. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So I feel like there's something in this card that is talking in path and purpose is about connecting to people somehow, whether that's around the world or, you know, even like connecting in community. Yeah, it just, it has that feeling. I know you know what I'm talking about here, but there is something about you building it. But the big thing with 22 is that it those master numbers are awesome but they come with a lot of challenges and so I feel like there's something in this that is talking about you know you're feeling challenged right and so let's just get out the rest of the cards and we'll see where to go with mm. okay that's a hint so it makes sense though so we have the empowerment card and that so fits with that that 22 and the challenges because those challenges are what forces you to grow and it brings you into your own sense of empowerment when you're like, hell yeah, I just made it through that. Yes. You know, like that kind of energy. But, you know, um, the empowerment card is also like, sorry, I got interrupted with a barking dog. So with that empowerment card, the other part of this is that um, it's talking about, you know, through your own acts of like self nurturing and self loving and bringing yourself into your own empowerment that it is subconsciously giving other people permission to be in their power. And I feel like this is really talking about path itself, you know, because this reading is about life, path and purpose. Uh, so I mean, it's more about purpose itself like there's something in that through your connection to the people that you're supposed to be connecting with here Ooh, okay and we have red native and i always see these as the tops of totem poles and red native is about walking the red road which really means walking your own spiritual path in the way that you feel is true to you in integrity with your heart with spirit and honoring that as much as you can in every aspect of your life in every way and but this is like this is like a, a full embodiment of i i you know live what I teach, you know, I walk the path that I preach, that sort of thing. And um, there's some sort of empowerment thing here in your own spiritual connection that therefore is empowering others. And I feel again like this is they're talking about in your purpose in some way and because this is a group reading it's going to be different for everybody so the other card that we have here is the friendship card now that's interesting because this one doesn't come out very much so you know i just want to give this one second to see yeah because it does it brings me back over to the grid card so that friendship card you know i feel like for some of you you may not you might be feeling like you don't have the support that you need or you you know, you, you would like to have more support and connection. And I feel like there's a part of you n needs to be the one initiating this. And I feel like it's not, it could be just local for some of you, but I feel like this is a global outreach in some way, you know, like whether that's making friends online and connecting with people around the world, there's a very global energy that comes with this. And I feel like you're supposed to be connecting with other people who are on the same red road as you, right? And your own empowerment in that. But also for many of you, that's your path and purpose as well. Okay, so we have the storm card. Now I love when this comes up because that storm card is talking about, you know, experiencing some sort of chaos or whatnot in your life and it's talking about this storm clearing like the lunder, lunder thunder and lightning striking and clearing the energy and clearing the air and as I'm holding it I feel like what they're talking about with you guys is that you have some confusion 
about your path or your purpose. There's something you're not clear on. And so there's a lot of head mental stuff going on. And that storm card is talking about that clearing. Okay. So I feel like spirit is trying to say, hold on, right? Like, just wait, because that clarity is going to happen. That the big part you need to focus on right now is your spiritual path and your own empowerment. Because the next card that comes is the immunity card. And I love that because that talks about really coming into your own and not being affected so strongly by other what what we believe other people might think about us or what other people say or their ideas of what we should be doing. It's like a very others sort of kind of card and like being really strong and fortified within yourself. But that immunity card is also talking about like gaining some sort of immunity to the, the chaos and stuff that goes on in our head in our own inner process. Because I feel like there's a lot of self-doubt kind of energy coming up in here with you guys. And so there needs to be that nurturing and to let go of what you think the world wants of you. And to really honor yourself and your truth and your soul in what you need to do. Okay? And connecting with other people. This is vital, vital, vital for you guys. Okay? Now this is a group reading. If you would like a personal reading, which is much more specific to you, all my info is down below in, in the description. Um, I want to thank you for being here. Please do hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care.